Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Uh, I hope this resonates. Please like, share and subscribe and keep my channel going. Uh, there's August messages, there's a bonus read, the September reads are up, there's weeklies up, there's spirit messages, playlists with timeless spirit messages if you want to look at all that. Today we're going to do a spirit message for August and it's going to be about what's coming in for you Aries, what you need to release to make the most of what's coming in and then spirit advice at the end of it. So let's have a look, Spirit, please, and show me what you would like for Aries today. Temperance. Beautiful balance energy. Temperance. The Knight of Wands. And the Devil card. So what spirit's wanting for you is they're wanting great balance in your life. Now, this balanced energy comes in when there's been patience and challenges. It comes after patience and challenges. So there's a beautiful up ahead. There's beautiful balanced energy here. Now, what can help you is there can be good news coming in that you want to hear. So somebody could be rushing in and telling you something that you're passionate about and is going to, you know, is romantic. It could even be romantic news. So this person here, if it's wands are Leo, Aries or Sagittarius, you could be dealing with that sign, but it doesn't have to be. Now, it could be, it's going to move you on from feeling stuck. So this person or this news that's coming in is moving you on from something that makes you feel stuck. Now, this could work the other way. If you want to move on to things that you're passionate about, you have to come away from things that are going to make you feel stuck. To bring in this beautiful balanced energy because that's what's going to be coming in when you move on from this devil energy here. Now this could be a mindset that's holding you back, it could be a toxic relationship, environment, an addiction, um, a, a, an ego-based energy that's saying I'm not good enough, whatever this may be. When we let go of this energy we go forward and there's passion uh, and creative energy that steps in and we can move forward to bring in beautiful balance and that's what's up ahead if you come away from being stuck that is what's up ahead for you now this could also if you want balance in your life or well, spirit wants you to have balance if you move on from someone for example that's a fly by night or doesn't commit now it could be a romantic partner that doesn't commit they fly in and out your life or it could be you eh, sorry i beg your pardon a friend that lets you down that only shows up now and again so all this recognising all this sort of thing and moving on from it is going to bring in beautiful balanced energy. So that's what spirit wants. They want a beautiful, better balanced energy after challenging times. It's, it's available to you. We all have that ability. Now, what needs to be released, apart from what we spoke about here, the toxic energy? Have a moment. King of Cups. And the Ten of Cups. Now, if you're wanting, what needs to be released is anything that's keeping you stuck. So there needs to be a tower moment here. We need to get rid of the old foundations and start to build new foundations for yourself here. And you can do that, like I say, if you come away from things that are making you stuck. Now, releasing everything that doesn't serve your instability in your life. Now, this could be, spirit could have done this. If you're not going through it just now, it might be a choice for you to do that through coming away from toxic energies. This is what's going to happen and you're going to release this. So moving on from all the toxic energies and the stuckness is going to move you. It's going to change your stability. So we're releasing everything from the past that's unstable in our lives, so it could be we're in a toxic job environment, it needs to go. We need to be releasing that job. Toxic people, addictions, my, toxic mindsets, they all need to be going now. Because what we're trying to do here is we're trying to go towards our wish fulfillment. Spirit wants you to claim all these blessings. It's about what's going to make you happy here, Aries. And when we're doing that and we're passionately moving towards what makes us happy and we're releasing people that don't and we start to go into a more balanced place, we start to become happier. We And, and we get rid of all the stuff that makes us unhappy. We start to go into this beautiful King of Cups energy. Now, the King of Cups is a mature energy. He's emotionally stable. 
He has wonderful um, control of his emotions. He feels things, but he doesn't necessarily show them in that sense. But when things are rocky around him, he keeps the head. He keeps the head. So if you're going through anything that's upsetting at this moment, the secret here is, if you want to bring in greater happiness for yourself, is to come from an emotional, stable place. Because things that are meant to go in our lives, they're not going to bring us any happiness. Okay, we want to go towards being emotionally stable. And toxic people and environments don't help, you know, they don't serve us well. We're not emotionally stable in these environments. So it's about releasing and building new foundations now, Aries. Okay, now the spirit advice here. Can you please show me? New foundations. There's far too many cards there. I'm not even going there. Um, so it's about releasing things from your past and building new foundations that are more solid here. Whether it be in your environment, your work environment, your home life, your relationships, whatever it may be for you here. Five of Pentacles. Five is change, you see. Two of Pentacles. This is about your stability here, bringing greater balance into your life. The twos of are balance. Yeah. And there's your six, which again is balance. This is about finding better balance within your environments. Now, what Spirit's saying is we don't want to be coming from a place of lack. So we don't want to say, I'm not good enough. I don't have enough money. I'll never be able to achieve this. I can't leave this person. I can't leave this job. I can't leave this house. We don't want to be doing that because we all have the ability to create stability of some sort for ourselves. There's always help around you. If they look up, there's refuge here. This is a church. There's refuge. So we don't want to be in this energy of coming from a place of lack. Now, this can happen with tower moments because we can feel disappointed and left out in the cold. But what Spirit's saying is this is to bring in greater stability for you and better balance. Now, there could be a decision you're going to have to make here. Two are choices about how you're going to go forward to bring in the balance that's needed in these environments, whichever environment it may be for you. Now, this could be a head over heels decision you're having to make to leave a toxic relationship or work environment. It could also be a decision you're having to make about your finances, how you're going to juggle things. It could be, you know, that you're exhausted and to come into this beautiful king of uh, emotionally stable place, you might have to give up a job because you're overworked. It'll be different for everyone, but it, it, it's a decision that's going to have to be made, definitely. And the decision is about bringing in this, the Six of Pentacles. Now, in our relationships and environments, we have to be, there has to be equal give and take for us to be happy and content about things. That sounds like a pretty common sense thing to say, probably. But what we're saying is we don't want to be investing our time, our efforts and our energies into things that are not, we're not getting what we want out of them. So we don't want to be given too much in relationships. If it's a personal relationship and you're doing all the work, we don't want to be lending money here to someone who never gives us it back. We don't want to be working hours um, and not getting paid for them. We don't want to be putting our efforts into things and we're not being valued by a person or environment. So it's very important, Spirit saying here, that if there's anything that's left you, making you feel left out in the cold, that you move away from this type of energy and you move towards equal give and take in your life. And that's the balance. It's a beautiful, he's holding the scales here and there's your balance. And this is what Spirit wants for you. So anything that's toxic needs to go up, move, you need to move on from. Anything that's holding you back in life, any personal environments holding back in life, you can consider, you know, they're pulling you towards a tower moment here to have greater balance, better relationships, better environments for yourself, better job satisfaction, better reciprocal romantic relationships, more respectful relationships. So whatever this is for you, that's what this is all about. Now, what I'll do is I'll clarify the five of pentacles for you. Go. Right. Now, this Five of Pentacles, here's the Hierophant. Now, if you've been disappointed or let down in work environments, relationships, 
somebody's taken advantage of you and left you out in the cold. This is about your values for yourself, how society works. What values do you have for yourself, your belief systems? Um, it could be you've got a religious belief system, you know, that enables you to give you the strength to understand that we shouldn't be in things that are toxic. We need to be around, you know, people that understand us, whether it be the same sexuality, you know, if it's over your sexuality, for example, or your religious beliefs, it could be that. But this is definitely about how you want to choose to live your life. So anybody that's taken advantage of you and you feel undervalued, you have the right to be confident in what you're doing and the right to be respected here. So this is what this is about here. This could also be a job opportunity that comes in because it, be con it can be conglomerates. Uh, big companies that offer you a job opportunity that you're going to go towards after unemployment that's going to bring greater stability into your life financially. You know, it could be a sale of a house that's fell through. Uh, it could be an opportunity that comes forward. You felt disappointed. It's not worked out, but it doesn't mean to say there's balance coming. You have to make a decision how you're going to go forward. Whether do I keep the house up for sale? Do I put it out, up again? But there's going to be, whatever you decide to do, there's going to be great balance because this, this is about going towards your wish fulfillment. So if there's ideas you want for yourself here, the secret is to keep going, make the right decisions for yourself and go towards your happiness. Don't be put off by things that have happened in the past because this is about new beginnings. Now, this is an ace and it's new beginnings. And it's new beginnings and stability. So in finances, in jobs, in your home, in your relationships and in your environments. And that's what spirit wants for you. Your ace of pentacles and your balanced energy. Beautiful energy. So please remember, I know it's very difficult. It's okay for me to say. I mean, I've had tower moments in my life, so we've all been through them. Um, that anything that comes in and goes out is for your higher good. It's for your higher good. And if you keep believing that, you will create beautiful energies around you and you'll move on towards stability and new beginnings. Okay, Aries, can I please have a couple of cards here? Proud. Proud. Be proud of what you are, where you've been and where you're going. Do not let people in toxic environments let you believe you shouldn't have the best and don't believe that you're not worthy of anything you want to achieve. Guides. Your spirit guides are there to help you communicate with your spirit guides today. So some people pray, some people need support networks. There can be angels on this material earth. Whoever you see is helpful around you, but there's definitely help around you. So you're not alone in this. I hope this helps, Aries. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.